USA swimmers, gymnasts, and basketball players are probably going to get most of the publicity at the 08 Olympics in Beijing. Other athletes will be competing just as hard in some of the more obscure sports. You might not have heard about the uh, modern pentathlon. You ever heard of that? No, I haven't, mm. but I know someone who's going to tell us yep. all about that. In our second installment of The Dream Starts Here, we introduce you to an athlete from Monument who hopes to increase awareness of the sport he loves. When we say the dream starts here, we really mean it when we talk about Eli Brimmer. I, I think I dreamed when I was young, but it didn't really become realistic. But it's now a reality for the young man who grew up in Monument. Eli was born in New Hampshire and lived in Washington, D.C. for a while, but his family moved to Monument when he was three. A swimmer and cross-country runner at Lewis Palmer High School, Eli first became involved in pentathlon while attending the Air Force Academy. Since graduation in 2000, now part of the world-class athlete program, he's become one of the hot names in a sport that most people don't understand, but he's ready and willing to explain. In our sport, we have a huge diversity of the skills required. You need strength and endurance in swimming. You need endurance for running. But you need a mental focus in shooting. And you need coordination in fencing. And you also need to be able to deal with the unknown in riding because you don't take your own horse. Athletes compete in all five sports, shooting, fencing, swimming, riding, and cross country. All in the same day. It's the only sport actually created for the modern Olympics and in the early days had plenty of military overtones. In the early Olympics and up until the 1950s, you had to be a military officer to compete in the Olympics in pentathlon. We have in the United States a very strong history of military success in this sport. Going back to uh, 1912 when uh, young Lieutenant George Patton competed in the Olympics. And funny story there, he finished, uh, I believe, fifth place at the Olympics because he actually missed the target on one of his shots. So one of the greatest generals of all time, when he was a lieutenant, wasn't such a good shot and it cost him a silver medal. And pentathlon just may be the perfect sport for Brimmer, considering his family background. Yeah, but I'm the dumb jock of my family, I like telling people. Um, I went to the Air Force Academy, I have a, a master's degree, and uh, when, I, when I finished my master's degree, I was talking to my wife one day. I said, you know, I'm the only person in my family who didn't go to an Ivy League school or doesn't go by the term doctor. So um, it, it's easy to stay humble in that family. I uh, wouldn't call Eli a dumb jock, but his family does have an impressive resume. His two brothers are military officers. His dad, Duncan Brimmer, is a former county commissioner who ran for Congress in 2006, and you likely have heard the name L. Paul Brimmer III. Eli's uncle served as the presidential envoy to Iraq and administrator of the Coalition Provisional Authority. Full Iraqi sovereignty will rest in Iraqi hands. You're turning on the news every day, and, and you see a lot of bad things happening over there, and, and you know, wondering, is he okay? And, and not always knowing, because I, I believe it was December 7, 2003, they had an assassination attempt on him that was, I think, within one or two seconds of being successful. But his uncle survived and will almost certainly be in Beijing to watch Eli go for the gold, and it could happen. Eli was considered a medal favorite four years ago in Athens before breaking his foot. He still went to the games as a color commentator for NBC. But thanks to his gold medal win at last summer's Pan Am Games, Eli has already qualified for Beijing and is considered a favorite to end the United States' 40-year medal drought in pentathlon. And I think that's just going to be a special, a special feeling to look around, to look up from, from the floor and say, you know, I've made it. You know, I've, I've been pursuing this for 20 years and now I've finally made it. With the dream starts here, Lee Douglas, News First.